Okay, we're doing some yak stuff. Look at this juicy yak lore. Um, roaming yak. So, this is a yak list that I've used before. We're gonna try it again. Uh, actually, something that might be new here is destructive volley. I think it could be kind of cool. Been playing around with yaks for a little bit. Haven't quite found something I like yet. Oh! Bamped, sir. Um... Because it's always debatable. Like... I don't know. Emerald Yak might be a cut. But I just can never cut it. It's just so good. I think we keep... Actually, Yak Attack's not awful. Maybe we keep that. This needs two specials. Uh, to the side? So we're gonna explore... Lake, I think. It's always hard to pick your lands for this too. Let me just... So from here, we're just gonna double neutral, prob probably up. If he's doing like husk, then I wanna fight those lands. Double neutral. What? Wait. Don't know what that was about. But I mean, with yak attack, being able to put these double neutrals more aggressive, I think it's. Am I gonna get wind soldiered? Only I could turn this music down further. Oh. Okay, it's Flyer Soul Drain. Hey JJ, thanks for the raid. How did your stream go? I think I need. I get to yak attack command to save my axe. Attack command pog. Hey Summer! Yes, it is. Um, just any way that, that I can steal this collection and this one? I don't think so. I have to yak attack. No, okay. We have to do this one then. But we can step on the land. I think by doing this. All three here. Let's clear this. Command hit, step up. And then double neutral up here. Or the, the second neutral there. Hi! How's it going? Hey Stinky! Happy holidays. Yeah, it's Christmas for some people. Like Saturn and others, I imagine. Apart from the, the Australians. But yes, happy holidays to everyone. Oh, which reminds me, tomorrow's stream is going to be interesting. I don't know if I'm going to do a 1.30 stream. It might be a bit more random a time. 
Is it actually Saturn's birth? Right? I, I mean, I thought it was. But <laughs> I can't tell either. <laughs> I mean, he mentioned it a while back, and a few times, so I don't know. I'm, I'm willing to, willing to believe it. Yeah, I was expecting Wind Soldier. <laughs> we got one, two, three, four, five. Another Yak attack. Uh Oh, that's got the buff, the buff. So let's just step over. So this is a 6-6. Six, six. I think it can go here. But I think we want it as a 6-6, six, six, so it's difficult to remove. Probably neutral this way. lets me set up a yak for collection if I don't need it aggressive. <clears throat> yeah, so we're thinking of doing- well, I don't know. There was a thought to do some New Year's thing, but not a lot of, like, um, just, a, just a thought at the moment. But I think it'd be kind of cool to, like, like uh, get everyone's New Year's in. Might be a long stream, but you know, we could like alternate streamers cross the streams, even though they told us never to do that. Um, I might just smash face. If I can't do anything here. Smash face, even put like Emerald Yak on this side. Maybe. Even the taunt here is fine actually. So this gives me th three damage. No, and Soldier's a little sad for him. So I don't know, I, like, I've played this list quite a few times. I just can't part with it. Like, it feels unoptimal, but I just can't part with any of these little yaks. We go to three, four, five, six. If they all survive, okay, they're not all surviving. So we go to five, eight, plus one yak attack. It's one soldiering. Oh. <laughs> The tech card. You're still anti-emerald? Yeah, that's like the one card I'd probably take out. But I don't know, the taunts can sometimes come in handy. And it's like 3 cost for 4-4 four, four stats, sort of. I know a 1-1 one, one body is kind of weak, but... Okay, so that's definitely... It's in here. I think we want a yak attack instead of volley. <laughs> Full clear. Best clear. Oh, wait. If I yaks, yeah. If I want the full clear, I'm gonna have to volley. I guess that's fine. Yeah. 
way a long way off from champion, so this is fine. Is there any other way I can do it? I don't think so. Do I want to draw then? No. No, 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 no. We need desert. Only for this to get wind soldiered immediately. The first one sort of forecast. Oh! You're actually that's a very good point actually. You don't use for anything else. Sometimes you have to make a second forest. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You've sold me on that idea already. I might take it out. We can try it. Like, I want the yaks to stay kind of how they are, but... I don't know. At the end of the day, it feels like you just pull out all the yaks but Sapphire Yak. Uh, gotta find this list now. Yak. Okay, let's... Experiment without these, and maybe just up like Longhorns. One of Wingate, one of Banquet. <laughs> Wingate's interesting. Wingate could be used. Um, but like, is Wingate necessary because you don't really have colored lands that- like, you're building so many double neutrals, right? Does it work? <clears throat> Wingate works with Yak Attack and is generally a party. Alright, we'll, we'll try out a Wingate. And maybe a plus one command. Time of Legends is always a consideration too. But... Ah, right, Yak Shepherd is two land. So, like, blue-yellow is kind of perfect. Can save you from making lands. Yeah, I mean, I've always underestimated in the past, so let's, let's try it out. See how it goes. Other thing with, um, Emerald Yak and having that extra land is I already, like, the land cost isn't just two. Like, I need to build six prairies for this guy. So that's, like, essentially three lands. So we're on to, like, five lands with this, and then a slight amount of ramp with Roaming Yak. I think that updated. Okay. Roaming Yak is like half ramp. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Although, if you get the Explore card, it's a it's still half ramp, but. <laughs> yeah, so if we're on like five lands. Technically. Plus that sort of half ramp there. I think that's a really easy deck. Really easy colors to build. Removal options are the hard one. I guess like the other thing was like mono blue yaks, but less yaks. So if it was mono blue, you'd probably put in like humbling vision. Um, and for removal, we just have we just have command and destructive volley punishment. I don't think I ever play, unless I'm facing a lot of 
husk or something, I guess. I don't know. I feel like this should be a yak. Hey, Bamster. <clears throat> nice wind gate. Yeah, we just changed the list. I faced you with something else. Else. Took out the emerald yaks, put in wind gate, upped the removal a little bit. Or... Yeah, so we've got two command, two destructive volley. We should run Fortune Hunter. This would be a great place for Fortune Hunter. <laughs> oh! You can summon the flyer in the ocean. Wait, you can do that? I didn't know that actually. I thought they had to be on land. Interesting. Well, that's kind of cool. What about Intrepid Explorer for more ramp? <laughs> Some tournament where you played three ruby fish in a turn from Rapala using Wingate. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, it's not a yak. Yeah, that's fun. Get rid of all the fish. Like, what does this deck lack? Removal, honestly. It lacks removal. Played all the fish with the Mistral guys. <laughs> Incredible. Flying fish. You get to dash them, like, like if you were to use like Rain of Fish, and they like, summoned next to the Mistral Guide, you could like fly them and dash them off, right? Yeah, that would make sense. But I guess you don't typically run Mistral Guide in a Rain of Fish deck. Oh, you can blast dash blow to toad. Yeah. Right. It's Deco. This is a power hand right here. These lands are always awkward. I think we double neutral. And then lake. And then 
Next turn we can step across and then we've got a leg spot for Yak. Unless he fights us. Yeah, if the enemy bloated toad dies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Profit. Do I need to care about that? <laughs> I might. Oh, yikes. Okay. Am I desert? No. Just threaten the sapphire buff next turn. Yeah. Uh, probably not a point in desert. Can he like... He can like move stuff. Double neutral. I think I just play the yak. No. We don't want it to get hit. So if he has sunken tower, I kind of lose. Do I have to play both of these? So I don't lose? <laughs> just gets cleared. Okay, sunken tower just loses me the game here. <laughs> I guess it slightly doesn't lose me if I play the Yak now. Yeah. Went from number 2 to 8. Oh no. Yeah, when you're at the top you have to be like on top of your game. Or play like on Smurf or something. I mean... It doesn't matter so much. We still have like two weeks left, I think. <laughs> oh well. This is like best case scenario, really. Welcome to ELO, yeah. <laughs> yes. I guess draw? I need something to back this up with. I don't think I want to play the Yak Shepherd. Oh! Amazing! <laughs> Incredible. I think I play I pre-play this. Just to give another attack buff. But we don't play the second one. Because then this can trade into it. sift through six hours of queue time every day. How will we ever know? Okay, so I can yak shepherd here with the roaming yak and the topaz yak. Clear the beast? Is that worth it? Probably not. Maybe? I got a collection. Then I get to attack buff this. Clear that. Sure. Wait, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I have enough.
whether this is worth it. I don't know. Shepherd. I guess I want to fight this stuff. Don't want to leave my yak alone, but... Oh, it's not alone. It's got the yak there. It's got his yak friend. Oh. One roaming yak down. Blue yak. Blue one's too strong. Actually, so Windgate's really interesting, because you can step it on opponent's lands. It has four life, right? That's so much. <laughs> your favorite cards I yeah I gotta play with it more because I feel like the idea is growing on me but I haven't actually used it in practice so much although that one game that we had where I didn't clear it and you got all your axe grinders down and all of that stuff it really started to grow on me. Am I aware of the cutting edge Hydra technology? Fresh off general, what? Feria general? Stinky is still here. Can I explain it better? Wingate and Flyers is pretty amazing. That's cool. Yeah, because I, yeah, I didn't realize actually before that like Flyers could be summoned adjacent. That's an interesting thing to experiment with. Saturn Spect when you were testing. What is what is this new Hydra tech? There's something in Faria General. <clears throat> the babies are infinite. What? Wait, what? <laughs> if you spawn them next to gu Guide? <laughs> infinite. Interesting. That's very exciting. So that I kind of want to play around with that. <laughs> I feel like that could actually be good. <laughs> Mistral Guide plus Hydra. I mean, I don't know. You, like you get the yellow mobility. I haven't actually set up the double dash yet. <laughs> Just clear the entire board with a single Hydra. And Mestral Guide. What does the card text say? I guess that makes sense, because dash doesn't actually mean that it's being summoned. I mean, I don't know if that makes sense, but... Counts as it being summoned on another s tile. One spot by the well. Cheeky and specific. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is it that specific though? It's a little bit, but I guess the you have to corrupt it and have mistral guide. 
within the vicinity. Hydra is hard enough, very true. Like egg into Spectre triple dash. Hey Hunter! Unless you can attack before you can dash. Oh, right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay. Because <laughs> Ibercap is doing dev things. Yeah, I guess that is kind of meaningless. You have to be able to clear the board with them, and then if they're only like two ones, you're gonna have a hard time with that. <laughs> the triple dash should be a feature. Wait, what is this triple dash? With S Spectre? It's a thematic fit. Wait, it's other Bamser. Is he playing both accounts at once? I feel like Yak attacks a decent keep. Egg is three legs. I know that for sure. It's kind of like creation. Hatching a Scourge with egg? It just randomly gives triple dash? <laughs> Mountain. No. Lake here sucks. I feel like I'm supposed to like Well, anyways, I guess we'll like here. Did we get the explorer now? So he gets to explore land. Maybe if we want to go opposite, actually. I don't want him to fight my side with combat things. Yak attack broken. Uh, <laughs> from the same spot. That would be kind of fun. cheeky board clear. I, I feel like you could cause a lot of damage that way, but yeah, maybe it's not as exciting as it sounds. I don't know, you could still, like, from the Hydra spawn, you could still, like, branch out two tiles wide with your Hydra heads. Like, that's a pretty wide radius. I guess, no, they have to be adjacent to Mistral Guide, so you couldn't quite do that. Uh Wait, he didn't play anything. Why didn't he play anything? I kinda don't wanna play anything. <laughs> Garadan? So it's also where Prairie Act's kind of awkward, like, I've built five lands, I only need one more Prairie, but... <laughs> I 
Red's a little unfortunate. Like, combat's kind of sucks, because my way... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I see. Oh. <laughs> hey, not blue. <laughs> well... I have Yak Attack and this, that's 9 damage. 6, or just the Yak plus these. That's... I think I'm gonna have to take 3 hits into it, no matter how I do it. Double neutral. Like this. Up this way. Imperial Outpost. So we- oh! Oh crap. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> oh, I needed another land- wait. Oh, yeah, I need two yet. No wait, I can hit in first. Okay, that's okay. Enjoy those cards, Bab, sir. Yes, okay, I'm good. <laughs> Amazing. Meteor, meteor, meteor. Oh, I see. I guess that kind of makes sense, because, like, the cards highlight if you're able to play them. Wait, I didn't need to build double neutral. I had a prairie yak. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, we just lose now anyways. <laughs> There's no beating Magnus with Yaks. Tested it out with Defender of the Homeland. Huh. Is that zero? Amazing. Uh, that is kind of amazing. I think I need to draw. Hitting does. Probably just save my Faria now. Long horned yak. some incredibly lucky draws to win this. I also don't really like... I don't know. I feel like Battletoads should be playable from Barter, 
like on not legs. <laughs> I know they're blue creatures, but I don't know. Barter feels really sad. I guess. I don't know. I guess Battle Toads is pretty powerful. Need to find a haste. Yeah, expected ground shaker. Okay, so this side's lost. Okay. I'm not gonna bother with that. Not much, not much for Yax to do against a Magnus. <laughs> no worries. Toads works with Wingate. That... True, that makes sense. <laughs> Wingate is the answer to all of our problems. Just run Wingate in Husk now. I think that'll work. He did have legs. I th hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. I feel like you should be allowed to, but whether it's programmed that way or not, because it logically makes sense. <laughs> True. I forgot to include Rapala in this list. If you play Wild Battletoads, it's playable with a Wingate on board. Oh, that's tested for sure. It makes sense. Oh, he's number two. With green. I think we start with this guy. So we've got Sapphire Yak as kind of a surprise. Oh, he's gonna fight the same side anyways. Oh, is he playing Beastmaster? Hmm. So against green, do I need to... I think I need to go both sides. Like with Sapphire Yak, I should be able to outvalue. So both sides kind of makes sense, I think. I do need this land for Sapphire Yak though, but I think this is okay. Hmm. Uh, let's build one on each. <laughs> How to test the double dash Hydra heads? Spirit, Lake. Wait, this is the deck I thought it was.
This isn't the deck I thought it was. At all. One, two, three, four, five. What to proc it next turn? Uh, if we play Sapphire Yak, I can play Yak Attack on this side. I think I want to play this first. So that I can step it to the side and play the second one as an option. There were two spots that had Mistral next to it. <clears throat> In two turns? What happened there? Ah, uh, octopus. Destructive volley. So we have access to one yak attack. We've got three collections here. Can plus one, but I don't think that makes a difference. Uh, to deal with this five five. This is plus two plus two, so four. Command, command yak attack is a thing. Command yak attack. And then two yaks hit into this. We have to build our lands like this. Oh no, I need two collect- oh no, I have two collections. One, two, three. Step up, collect. Command, hit. Get rid of the spirit. Sweet. I missed some chat. <laughs> Two turns? I'll have to watch that. That's impressive. Had to do with the top to bottom left to right thing. Frog Tosser. That's cheating. Frog Tosser's cheating. So we need a desert still. I guess I just keep collecting. I kind of want to block this spot. Longhorn DX, not exactly the way I want to do that, but... <clears throat> Maybe I just hide on the other side. There so I can get the yak buff. This is probably pretty telling that I have a sapphire yak in hand, but I'm hoping he doesn't have ways to deal with it. I think I just need to control left side now. There's no point in running this into the water alley for no reason. So destructive volley is interesting because it's three fairy at two damage against any other deck.
That is... that is pretty clever. Broken clock is right twice a day. Broken clock. Okay, so I think I want to clear this. Destructive volley this. I think Sapphire Yak is safe to come here. That's four, five, six, seven. We give up that collection, but that's fine. Four, five, six, seven. So we can draw. Yak attack. Does that change anything? Don't think so. So we hit in here. I do yeah, this is okay. Uh, you want to step up. Onto this spot. Not a huge point in playing this. I mean, maybe. Like, if this gets answered... ...somehow. Or if this gets... Oh, it doesn't matter. Maybe... Like... Sunken Tower could be a thing. So... I don't know. <laughs> I think there's some kind of point. Finding out you can wish Pandora. Yeah, I saw that briefly on the Faria page. That was interesting. <laughs> okay, so I think I want to get a, an aggressive creature instead of drawing. We'll head into this. Collect here. Plus one yak attack's a thing, but I don't think I want that to be a thing. <clears throat> so this guy comes here. Think I step up? It's probably gets frog tossered. Hmm. Yeah, that's okay. We step up. Build this land? Okay, he's saying well played. Probably thinking about it too much. <clears throat> hey, Deku! This Yak deck is actually good. <laughs> yes! He'd swarm the board. The thing is, yeah, I. Okay, like I used to have Emerald Yak in here. We're trying out not having it in, and I really liked it, but also, I don't know, Summer convinced me with the whole, like, um, it's technically a four-cost sort of thing because you have to build that forest, and it is really awkward, it increases the land count, but also it gives two yaks towards Mother, I don't know. Yeah. It's really debatable, and I'm not, I'm not like, 100% sold on having it or not having it. But we're doing some testing. Don't like Emerald. So the taunts can help quite a bit sometimes. They, uh, they also get buffed with the Imperial Outpost, which is cool. Probably fit more a control play style, but you like to spark. I mean, this kind of list is a little bit more control than anything. I tend to go both sides, but I don't know. I don't think it's right to say that's four cost because you have to you have to build a forest like with roaming yaks. Yeah, fair enough. Self-proclaimed best Krog Rush player. <laughs> <laughs> Ch 
cheese is pretty good. I... have I ever beat cheese in Crawl Crush at a tournament? I'm not sure. Oh, I must have. I've beat him in tournaments. I think I... I don't know. I, I guess so. It's really tough for me because a lot of my decks are like swarmy that I bring. And Crawl Crush kind of stomps all over them. Yeah, like the green one comes in handy a lot of times. But I also, I don't know. I think, so one of this deck's weaknesses, I think, is like removal. Like you've got Topaz Yak, which is kind of removal. I mean, they're not, there aren't very efficient removal options anyways, but... Wanted to believe Moon? Wait, what? <laughs> Sad there aren't infinite Hydra heads. Yeah, you can't attack first, which is a thing. Christmas only comes once a year. <laughs> Wait, you max out at six. Yeah, that's definitely the problem with Hydra. But wait, you max out at 6? Like, even if you dash them away? Like, obviously, if it's just a regular Hydra, it's only 6, but... Hey, Pickway, thanks for the raid! Are you streaming? I mean, were you streaming? I didn't see. Oh, it stopped at the six head. Interesting. Hey, yes. You just got an ad. <laughs> yeah, those are annoying. You get ads. I don't know. You should always get ads. Oh, okay. I have, I don't know. I have ad block, but I seem to always get ads on. Twitch videos, Twitch streams. Hey, right clicks here too! Pickway's been up for most of the day. Wait, am I not following Pickway? Let me check. Oh, okay. There's a follow. <laughs> Apparently I wasn't. Enjoy them cheat monies. <laughs> like, I wish I could disable the ads because I care nothing for them and I don't make any money off them. <laughs> like, I make, like, pennies or something. I'd rather just turn them off, but uh, they're kind of locked in when you hit affiliate. When you sign the contract for affiliate. So, I could have, like, not gone on for that, but... You know. If it's the last spot, it doesn't spawn more than six. The recently circumvented ad block. Yeah, that's it seems like a, a recent thing. Hey! I just caught to your comment. I'm reading slowly. I'm getting there. Does this a keep? No, I play f first. Maybe. Maybe. I'd like to play some other yak first. Maybe? Okay, let's keep it. <laughs> I think it's a mistake to keep, probably. But... Oh, it's James again. So he was playing... Green. Oh, green-blue. Gonna try to fight me. So I think I'm safe to put this Yak as a collector. Don't lie, you billionaire. 
Ah oh, yes, all that sweet, sweet Twitch ad revenue. I hide literally outside of this frame, everything is gold plated, but it's all outside of like the camera frame. <laughs> Error din. Cheating. Cheating card. Ooh, a priest. Um... Hmm. I could... Potentially avoid this? Like, we could do like a double neutral to the side... But I... Hmm. I think I kinda want to contest this. I don't want him to build up the Frog Tosser and just have answers to everything. Uh, so I think I double neutral. Play my Over Sky Act, retreat this guy. Pre-command. Or I could even just trade into it, but... That could be an option. Trade into it now. Then it gets taunted. <clears throat> okay. I think I'm sold on this. I don't want him to have a buff. And find a clear on my guy. So we're gonna go for that. Yeah, that sucks that you can't get more than six, though. Works well with illusion. Yeah, Hydra Heads cost two, unfortunately. It would be nice if they did. Oh, sad. Oh, okay. I think I Topaz Yak here. I could double neutral to get value trade, but Topaz gives me the full clear and a collection. Are we keeping this side? Is this gonna happen? He could just have another Stalker. I think I'm willing to risk that. He's on two cards. No way he has other Stalker. Double dash. Yeah. You could Topaz Clay. Yes, okay. <laughs> it was a good turn, and it's working okay. But he's also got that Aridin off now. Which makes things a little bit more awkward. Because that's a 610 Octopus. Oh, he got the buff off of that thing. Okay. I'm not as sad. So this goes up to 5 life. I need to deal 6 damage. Don't particularly want to play this on this side, right? Maybe. It's got 4 fairy. How likely is it that we keep collection? We at least have an option to draw. So 
Those tossers are five fives. Yikes. <sighs> Six fairy for four damage. What? How could I ask for more? Yes, we draw. Yak here. Pass. And then get frog tossered and cry. But what can I do? <laughs> I wonder if I should have gone opposite side entirely. That big octopus was way too much to work through. Sad. GG. <laughs> Always get a heart attack when you help her. <laughs> it's a lot. Oh, this says three attack. Uh, we just need everything to hold on one side, I think now. Died on nine life with Tyrion Golem on board. <laughs> Man, oh, I think I feel like I saw that. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, that happens a lot. Ask Saturn. <laughs> There's the tosser. I think I can safely surrender this. I think so. Enjoy those buffs. I think we're finished our lore page. Yak! What time is it? Oh, we got 10 minutes to spare, too. Yak. Roaming yak. Oh, yeah, it's alphabetical. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> that makes it a lot easier. Hosa was a wild yak who liked to run away. Even though the shepherd tried, there was nothing they could do or say. Hosa would be calm and good until they looked away. Then he would run far and wide just to get all of the tasty hay. <laughs> Didn't someone make a comment on this that yaks don't eat hay or something? Hosa. It's a nursery rhyme. Hosa... Hosa? Hosa? I don't know. Wait, so this guy's name... It, it has a name? This is the only, like, creature that is not, like, a 
sort of human figure or okay i guess everything there's a lot of things with names this is the n only like non-legendary with a name possibly adorable that was fantastic okay we're uh 10 minutes until the next one what are those black things at its feet black things these little creature things they look like the dust sprites from the studio ghibli movies Look at the happy little guy. He's got like flowers in his hair. He's ready to go. Uh, should we just do another one with this list? Hmm. Sure. Yaks aren't doing exceptionally well on this current ladder. But we'll go for another one. Uh, okay, wait. What have we seen? Green, blue, and Krog. Green, blue. What beats green, blue? Uh, okay, we're not going to get paired with James Flint again, I guess. But... Sack is pretty against green, blue. I guess swarm things are good against green and blue because they can't deal so much with that. Um, but we already faced them twice, so we won't face them again. We'll just do one more yax and then eight minutes until next lore page. Next match should be at least eight minutes. We could also. Q for Pandora. So, I said I would do like a full, a full-on Pandora stream if we hit 50%, which we did. So I don't know when I'll do that, but we'll dabble into that at some point. Draft Tyrion Expedition, get wishes. Wish for the Pandora piece. Yeah, what was the whole thing? Like, I didn't delve into it, but you could wish for the opening of Pandora? And then, what, choose to open it yourself or something? Wish for shards <clears throat> or wish for Pandora opens. <laughs> That's pretty fun. And they actually work. You can basically open it whenever you want. It's already opened. You can open it again for three Faria. Wait, another three Faria? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> huh. Very interesting. I guess they didn't think of anyone drafting three wishes in Pandora. I feel like that's something to consider. <laughs> Is somebody using a something outside. A chainsaw or something. I don't know. Hopefully you guys can't hear that too uh, too much. Kinda like urn. Oh, fair. Me not playables. 
Uh, we could like also okay. So I'm trying to release a Christmas guide video tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's Christmas, so I want to try to release one tomorrow. But the next one is going to be on like these different game modes and stuff, which I haven't looked at in ages. So let's like I don't know check these out while we're queuing, I guess. Wild missions. I think those are pretty straightforward. <clears throat> These were fun. The world bosses. Those were a lot of fun. I think these I just kind of gave up on. I got to 50 dragons just for the achievement and then I gave up on it because I don't know. I didn't care that much. <laughs> I, re I really wish they would do like a co-op PvP thing, like a like a two v two. That'd be super cool. And if I remember, these unlock at certain levels. I wonder if it tells me. In Yakaran, the Yak Vanguard trains for a mysterious future war. Do these tie into the story at all? Do Dark Wisp? Okay. Oh, it's taking forever to queue, so let's. Sure. Uh. I had a theory you can beat Dark Wisp on Tune 2. Uh, let's just... I mean, I don't even know what these do anymore, but... Turbo Goth. Perfect. We'll open the, uh, we'll open the, the thing. Oh, it's... wait, do all of these have regular boards? Do some of them have, like, special boards? <clears throat> uh... I it's too difficult to pull off. Your creatures are zero, zero. What? Oh, no! <laughs> oh... Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, these world bosses are so cool. Okay, and now I'm just gonna get rushed. Beautiful. Do you have a theory to beat it on turn two? I f wonder if there is there something you can do with like these zero zeros, like creatures dying instantly. That must do something. Wait, I can never doom gate. What am I doing? Let's just see what happens. I'm curious what he plays. Just neutral rush things. Yeah, that would make sense. Baron, blah. Oh, it doesn't even trigger the gift. Interesting. Yeah, these are super cool. And these ones are like survive. For X amount of turns. One minute left. This one was incredibly difficult, I remember. I think I had to use like a Ursus OTK. Bring your mythic card. Oh! 
And maybe like mythic cards or non mythics costed more or something. And Oversky's all ally battles. Free for the base set now, which is super awesome. There's the quest. And that's pretty much it. World bosses. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Puzzles, I think I checked out last time. So core puzzles, obviously from the core game, I guess. What do we got? Kaleem. Okay, I don't really like using legendaries because those are super difficult to get lore pages for. So we're gonna reroll. Tiki Caretaker. There's Tiki and Green Rush. I don't know if that's something I want to play. Maybe. We could get some Elo back with Green Rush. Or I build an actual deck. <laughs> what happened? I mean, let's... Maybe we'll do a green rush and then we can, like, play some actual decks later. Nice grush list. This is... Wait, whose list is this? ASTG's? Sure, let's go for it. I'm sure I could build something a bit more exciting, but I think this is okay. Green Rush. Yeah, he runs Shara, but... Shara seems best in Grush. Yes. It's the only place it fits, really. I... Yeah. So, I mean, you could run it in, like, mono green. Like, mid-range or something. And buff it, but... I don't know. It's too easy for it to get... Frogified or something. Uh, this is nice, right? I don't need this, I think. Maybe? I think that's okay. We can draw into other stuff. Oh no! I'm being rushed as well! Okay, so I've got a Queen's Guard. I think we just counter the rush. <laughs> Oh look, it's a Shara. Hmm. Kinda tempted to block the land. Queen's card. Um but if we go face. He's probably like either green or red. I haven't seen a lot of... I don't know. Let's do this. Then we can at least... This gives us the option to step up or retreat and defend. And then it blocks his aggression. Yeah, I like that. Shara's kind of cool. I think... Oh, wait. Should I have waited? Maybe I just hold and then play Shara plus Shamanic Dance. 
What does red do against that? I think that's the plan. Maybe I could have plus one. Actually, that forest probably doesn't want to be there. Probably wants to be up here. Oh no! Grimguard? Oh, that's okay. Shara will kill it instantly with a buff. Welcome to your last battlefield! I think actually I play this. <laughs> Gonna have to go here. Oh wait, it's got taunt. I can just put it center. Sweet. What does green do against... I mean, what does red do against this? <clears throat> they cry. <laughs> Concede, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Poor guy. Three lands off Havoc. So, I might have to protect this. With Queen's Guard? Not sure. <clears throat> Maybe I don't care though. <laughs> I'll probably just go face. Like I can. Hmm. Oh, I get one collection for hitting in, so I am allowed to build a land. Yeah, I think we just go here. He gets one collection, but I think that's okay. <clears throat> Triple burst. I guess. Am I supposed to play around those obscure outs? Like, do I ever lose through raw damage? It seems like I potentially could find something, but... I think Shara just rips through his creatures. Where did everybody go? <laughs> Suddenly Hunter's the last one here. <laughs> it's because I'm playing Green Rush. Hey, oh, what? Another taunt? The yaks were finished, that's what everyone came here for.
Cypher's Fodder. Oh yeah, these are the guys we're supposed to be playing. Okay, so let's... Buff hit face. I'd like to taunt you. Die with dignity. So what were some other decks that I was wanting to test? I've kind of tested my green teleport. I really like where it is. I'd love to play it more, but I think I've like overplayed it on stream. Um, I wanted to take a look at green-blue jump again, because I felt that that was kind of lacking now. I just used beasts over top of it. Flame burst. Well, any direct damage that leaves his hand is really good for me. There's a heal. So we want to stay protecting our face. <clears throat> Probably not a point in playing this. I don't know. It's one extra. Okay, wait. Four, five, six. No. I guess if I... If I wasn't playing anything, he should be here, and then he doesn't get taunt. <laughs> Try playing green Rakoan. Attack, draining, chaos, and time of legends. Wait, the green Rakoan with chaos? What does that do? Wait. Oh, the other green Rakoan. Sorry, I was thinking of... I was thinking of the other guy. Makes it a 10 10. Wait. He's a 3-5. You mean 5-10, right? Ah, oh, but, um... Yeah, the green recon could be exciting to play around with. Oh, that chaos! Right. That could be interesting. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, we only played one Tiki Caretaker there. The neutral one. Yeah, the neutral one's exciting to play around with. Plus... That guy. Yeah, there was something that I wanted to play around with, like, Priest of Everlife, and then all of the other creatures are ones that benefit with the buff, so like, Stalker, Tosser, Chaos. 11 cost combo. Yeah! <laughs> but like, this would be super cool to try. Play around with.
So what benefits from this? Stalker, Tosser. Volpine's not awful, but I don't know. And maybe Tyrian Expedition's a consideration for more creatures in the end. Katanga. Uh, Ninja Toad is also a thing, I guess. Ninja Toad becomes a 6-6. Six, six. <clears throat> Do I scoop these stuff, or is like Swarm actually decent? Ah, yes. Katanga always plays red. So I probably do want buffs. I probably could have tossed this, assuming that he would be playing red. Archer. I think I'm okay with this. Actually, we can play both. Is that worth it? Desert. Okay. Oh, okay. Thought I could play that for some reason. So we'll just buff this. Buff the taunt? Next turn, plus one Verger in Force. Feels good. It's a long way off from Scourge Flame. Possibly do want to block that land though, if he puts like a red creature there. So I might use double neutrals here, block this side, and then I can use the shrine anyways. Verger Enforce, block the mountains. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, lethal setup was worth. Well, it's still lethal setup, I, unless that dies. But I guess I could like pre-buff. Soul drain and burn. Well, there goes the lethal. Oh, wait, is that lethal? No. We're one short. But I need to play Caretaker. For the lore. There's a Scourge Flame. For the lore. <laughs> the tiki lore. So let's draw if he doesn't surrender. Okay. I am the Lorax, they speak for the pages.
Amazing. <laughs> oh, it's bench, sir. I am the Lorax, and I speak for the Everlife tree. Trees, plural. Ah, we got one. Mission complete. Okay, so yeah, I want to play around with some... Do I want to play around or do I want to try hard? We can play around. I want to try the, uh... Uh, the green Rakoan priest, priest of Everlife. We'll do some priest things. Oh, what about priest in like yellow? That could be. Oh. Okay, wait. Do I want frog toss or do I want the yellow things, like the the lionfish and the the dragon? Everyone's playing red. Green yellow could be cool to try, because I have also wanted to try those lionfish things. People experiment with Priest of Everlife. Until a Priest of Everlife buffs a Priest of Everlife, right? They, they're kind of awkward when that happens. Uh, I think we want to avoid... we want to dodge the mountain. I don't need to hit in. No need to give him a free card. We try to hit face with this Queen's Guard. That's what we do. Uh oh. Well, he's a long way off Krog, so. I think we make this bigger. We can do... so this puts us to 9, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wait, I have to tell him... No <laughs> Let me play Tiki. <laughs> Oh, Bamster's offline. Oops, that's the wrong Bamster. Oh, whatever. We'll play Tiki next turn so he doesn't surrender. I, I think he's in a not that awful a spot. If he's got some other bargain things. Big. Bamster is self-proclaimed. Not applicable, is this at Krog Rush? Wait, is it? It's... Oh, I guess it's not. He started sides that last time. Krog control. Yeah, it's a slower Krog list. Hmm. 
guess I trade in here. Not sure. Seven, eight, nine. I think I trade in this one. A fine strategy. I can see. A zero cost warrior. Don't think I'd want to play that. Maybe. Yeah. Hit for nine. <laughs> I'll take a free dinner. Such a pog meteor. Yeah, I guess. I guess. He would have had to step collect, mountain, and have had that meteor in those four cards, which I guess is possible. The other dinner. Hits dance. Well, dance isn't the worst. Yeah, it was on four. Although, I didn't especially calculate that. Wait, what did the Baron hit? Okay, we got our lore. Tiki. You know, it might be easier to find these things um, if I actually used the, the other thing. Anyways, the Tiki believe in the sacredness of all life. Every member of the tribe, from the chief to the youngest warrior, is expected to go out into the forest from time to time to tend to animals and plants that are sick or wounded. What great guys. The Tiki, with that knife in hand. Just ignore that. That's not part of the the picture. I, I guess they have to carve these runes to heal spells or something. Tree huggers. Yes! Actually, that reminds me of Zelda also. They're very Zelda-like creatures. No idea. <laughs> but yeah, very similar. Okay, we're done with Rush. So yeah, it's very sad if you draw a priest onto a priest, but I mean, it's not that high of chances if you have other creatures, like it's more likely you hit other stuff, right? So I want to try the yellow things, I guess, and like only run creatures that benefit from that, <clears throat> I think. We'll see how this looks. Because, like, maybe I don't want to run Ghost Dragon. So, Priest and Ghost Dragon, that's 5 cost for an 8-5. I mean, yeah, it's still, it's always good value. So, I guess Aridin. I guess Aridin has to be run. We could, we could put Tosser.
phosphorus technically in the land requirement. Cockery. 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 <laughs> I never actually knew the names. But yeah, very cool. Everlife. What about Everlife with like Bannon and very few creatures? I guess that was like the fairy. The fairy thing. You could build fairies. Uh, is Haunted Willow a thing? With Priest? I don't know. And I guess I want actual buffs. Like Elderwood Embrace? Maybe. Not a lot of benefits from Priest, actually. <laughs> now that I'm looking through these things. Don't think I want to run these. I don't want the Priest buffs to hit. Other one is just Frog Tosser. What about the Barren Sky Vermin? Is Priest ever a card run in Path to Face? That feels like it could be okay. Uh, if we go into blue, we have Sunken Tower. I don't know if this deck's this deck idea is gonna work. <laughs> oh, Wind Soldier, I guess I want. Wind Soldier. You have to build the six lands for this. The thing is, is that this only buffs it by two. Like, this is a two attack buff for a lot of these things. I guess it's a four life buff for the fish. But, like, Ghost Dragon doesn't really care about having that much more life. I guess, sort of. A little bit, maybe. Yeah, right? It would be kind of a sad buff. So maybe not. Uh, these plus Demon Wrangler? I guess... Demon Wrangler isn't the worst if Priest hits it. It becomes a 4-5. It becomes a 4-5 for 5. 5 cost. Like, how sad is that? <laughs> oh, well, like, you get the uh, extra effect. Yeah, yeah, I get Yeah. Wrangle the Wind Soldier that survived. Um, I guess it could work. You can also sack Priest and Stalker. So now we've got mobility that we could do. Oh, this has Divine. Right. 
So if we run Tosser. Makes our lands a little bit awkward, but let's see where this takes us. Tosser plus some land movement. Probably uh, shifting ties is a little better. Since we don't have to build, we're not forced to build two lakes. Even failed experiment could do stuff because of Stalker Tosser, but I don't know. Uh, I think we need some damage removal now. Some events. In yellow. Not running Ninja Toad, right? Yeah, three legs is a bit much. So let's go for a Soul Drain. Or Barter. Soul Drain... Six lands is quite a bit to build up to, but it's kind of a slower deck, I suppose. Also, I don't need six lands. I can... like, most of the stuff is here. What about Leia? Leia with a buff doesn't seem too bad. Alright, this is probably a meme, but we'll try it. Think you're onto something? <laughs> we'll see. Needs more fine tuning. I'm not sure. I'm not particularly sold on the idea yet. <laughs> Aridin seems excessive. Okay. I guess it's a bit difficult to proc. But, I mean, uh, wait. You need... Uh, I just realized I have like no ways for my ghost dragons to trigger if I don't have priest. Okay, this is actually... I think I want these both in hand. Scoop this. Yeah, Aridin helps make dragon a thing. But I think I need even more stuff to help make dragon a thing because relying on priests doesn't seem good enough. Oh, and we drew lionfish. We can't even trigger it now. Well, GG. <laughs> I made a mistake. Yeah, I think I, w I meant to put in, like, buffs, right? <laughs> Thought you were doing a rebirth build. Ah! Wait, maybe a rebirth could be cool. I think I need to sack this lionfish to the wrangler now. <laughs> Green tower could be cute. Yeah, green tower is interesting. Guess we'll push you up. Okay. <laughs> we'll head back and do some fine tuning. Problem with spirit is I don't think I want the... Yeah, this is over. Giving up Elo. Oh, it's an Aridin. He 
You need to transform that. And I don't want my Demon Wrangler to be running in there. I don't know if I like Ghost Dragon that much. It's really difficult to trigger. Like Lionfish, you can at least trigger it once it's in your hand and once it's on the bo board and stuff. Hey, Sesh! How's it going? Ignore this list. <laughs> we made some mistakes. Double tosser is cool to have, but... Hey, we can take out a boss. So if I don't draw... Yeah, I'm so sad. Well, we have Aridin, actually. Not a great clear here, though. I might have to give up collection. I'm not sure. Kinda need to step this 1-1 one, one up so I have a, a clear. <laughs> Pray it doesn't die, but... Uh, is that something to hope for? I don't think there's ever a point in hitting this in. So I think we just risk it by doing this. We give up the collection, but... Oh, I spent the eve with some friends. Awesome! And now some Feria, because why not? Awesome, that sounds like a good day. Friends and Feria, what more do you need? Is it uh, the 25th there, where you are? We did some family stuff yesterday. Um, so that's when people were available. Ooh. Ooh. So I do have to build this lake now. Hello, creatures. Oh, sad. I can only play two tossers. 5-5 five, five and a 7-9. <clears throat> so 5-5. Five, five. I probably want to take these. Yeah, definitely take these out. Uh, so 5-5 five, five probably wants 3 life. 7-9 would then go to 6 life. Ground Shaker's a little bit sad, but that's okay. And I think 5-5 five, five goes here. He gets to hit in. That's okay. Yeah, toss for both combats. Oh! And we blocked the land, too. Beautiful. Oh, for 43 minutes. Oh, yeah, it's... Okay, it's midnight there. Or past midnight now. Nice. Feels good. And I think... So, where it is now, this... We, we got snow, but it's kind of evaporating. Um, it might be a white Christmas tomorrow for where I live. We'll see. <laughs> I 
I'm pretty happy if that doesn't die. I don't have an answer, a clean answer to this guy. Ah, yeah, sad. Shifting tide. Kinda wanna draw here. <laughs> I think I draw. Oh! Beautiful. Ah, oh, sad, I can't collect. Toss or drain was perfect. Maybe I just soul drain lionfish? I don't know. That doesn't feel too great though. I think I just... Hmm. Maybe. I can always toss this next turn. Soul Drain Lionfish. Doesn't trade super evenly, but... That's okay. Don't want this to be Bomb Slingered. It's also in not the best spot, but... Ground Shaker was another thing that could punish this guy. Leia. Oh! The Wind Soldier! <laughs> Amazing! Wait, do we want to win Soldier? Maybe not. <clears throat> I need to deal with this combat. Too bad. Yeah, I think we have to... I think we have to toss. So I do want to collect here. Double neutral. Don't want this hitting that Cypher's Wrath. I think it's reasonable to do that. Because then I can still win Soldier it. So this game is going not how it's supposed to go because Aridin kind of saved me here. <laughs> but we're going to have to take a, another look at this list. That neutral would have been pretty strong there, I think. <gasps> the ghost dragon. Okay, now we can pick up some steam. Ground Shaker's gone, so that's cool. I think we can safely just put this here. He might run commands, because red combat seems to be running commands lately.
Ground shaker. Could take it out with both of these. Is that worth it? Six Varia? I think that's not so much. I think we're gonna draw. Perfect. I'm okay with that. Uh, I think staying here is okay. It's gonna take a bit, bit long to reach this spot, so I need to draw into something else. Five cost. Also, oh, or he just plays ogre. Awkward. Oh, to step? <laughs> yeah. That would have played around Ogre a lot more. I think I need to now build a land for that lionfish. Or we just keep drawing. I kind of want this to go between wells as a collector. I think it's okay. Yeah, this list isn't entirely working as intended. I also don't think Demon Wrangler is that great. There's not a lot of targets. Like, Wind Soldier was one in the very odd circumstance where Wind Soldier gets buffed. So yeah, we have the option to go through like buffs, so Overgrown Tower and things, or Spirit of Rebirth. Which Spirit's kind of cool. What if we did like a green yellow sack with like spirit of rebirth and like um yeah i kind of thought a horse master could come actually horse master is fine we have full clear saturn oh no what's that merry christmas from kangaroo lad and happy birthday saturn Oh, I should draw. Or should I say, happy birthday, Jesus? What have you been up to today? You should say that. <laughs> He's played two ground shakers. Am I afraid of another one? I mean, he can't play one this next turn. Stuck into your Christmas pizza. Oh. Literally, you made me insta-hungry as soon as I clicked on that. Just immediately. That looks so good.
bacon or is that ham? Looks like bacon. Wait, you said bacon super expensive in Australia. Ham, I suppose. Oh, maybe. Uh, I'm just remembering things wrong. Oh, it's bacon. Awesome. It looks so good. I uh, want. Said Aridin was excessive. Totally didn't mean to say that. <laughs> yeah, no, Aridin kind of completes the package here. I... I kind of want to try a green yellow sack, maybe. There's a priest. Priest plus draw, I guess. There's the 6-6 six, six wind soldier I was looking for. Bacon play! <laughs> I'll always be there for bacon play. <laughs> Hey, Alpanico! I'm gonna try to pronounce this first try. Frorainachen. Why nachen? Danke. Look at that beautiful 6 6 wind soldier. <laughs> Gonna have to build this land. Wait, we're out of power. <laughs> I think this is our last power card. No, we have chaos. We can be saved by chaos. We're also at six life, so that is a problem. Feliz Navidad. There was a Feria player named Crunchy Bacon. Rokoa Copter. <laughs> he was OG. Crunchy Bacon. Oh! We got him! Uh. Unfortunately, I'm kinda dead. Soon. <laughs> Pog. I think I need some plus one, right? So if I stalk her... I, I need to stalk her. And then I'm on one. I go to four. Five. Yeah, I think I need to plus one then. Uh, here. So, like, if everything gets answered, somehow, then we've still got chaos. Oh. There can be only one. Have you met chaos, Cypher? Your Christmas present is ready. I like my bacon flaccid. <laughs> oh. Do we go for the heal? The clutch heal instead? I don't know. That feels a bit... Eh. Ooh. Wait, I actually like this. <clears throat> Wait. Drain one life from everything. Hmm. I think I have safe to draw. Because I need this to go face, otherwise I lose, I think. Hmm. 
could also have Flamber Cypher's Wrath. But that's very specific. Wait, he's on six... well... Ten cards is a lot. I think I definitely need to push face. Happy if he doesn't have Bomb Slinger, I guess. The heal. Okay, this needs to go face. <laughs> it just has to. Also, if I put it here, he can just block with a creature. Because I have Shifting Tide, do I put it here? Or is that just bad? He's gonna get five various, so there's he's guaranteed to get a something to block with. Oh yeah, I definitely put it here, I think. Because I can always shifting tide here. Or I can step shifting tide face. Yeah, definitely here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bow to me. Bow to me. Okay, does this be- I think this one wants to be a Demon Wrangler. Plus Spooky. Spooky. <laughs> wait. Oh, oh, oh. Can I wait? One. Okay. One life from everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's at 17. Then I pl play this. Oh. That's lethal. I think. Right? It has to be. It definitely is. GG. <laughs> we can even play this first for more damage. Ah! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Oh, that that land spot though. That was like so perfect. Oh. Okay, so this awful list turned out to be exciting. <laughs> Hi YouTube. <laughs> that was intense, I must say. Nobody played this list, by the way. Just would like to point that out if you're a new player. It's awful. <laughs> Not being sarcastic, it's terrible. <laughs> okay, so either I was camping. Me? Or Hunter? I wasn't camping. Um, so, either we do like solely green yellow 
Also, I think I either want to use Spirit. <laughs> That's a really good time. That earned <laughs> because it was intense. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> we had some spooky ghost stories as well. <clears throat> okay, so either spirit or what was the other thing? Buffs? Oh, spirit or like buffs with tower. Maybe we cut priest <laughs> entirely and just use. We could use spirit and tower. Like, that could be cool. Spirits. Yeah. What about. So, Spirit was super fun with the, uh, oh, with, um, Voice of Hunger. What if we add in, like, yellow things? What was my Voice of I think I still have it. <clears throat> Can we add yellow into this? Would that make it bad? Maybe it's not the way to go. Voice of Hunger is kind of... Voice of Hunger kind of wants to do other things. I mean, the voice emissary combo is pretty powerful. But that's a combo. I think I don't like Priest. <laughs> Just gonna throw that out there. gonna be full-on green yellow sack I mean okay priest is still good with everything in here right sort of not really <laughs> Maybe. Priest is kind of like a sack target, which is cool. Rakoans like to sack each other. Yellow. Just the yellow green Rakoan. If we put in like a mountain, we can do sack the Rakoans. Mountain. Okay, new idea. Not sure if this is a thing, but. About court gestures. Oh! That fits the theme. I mean, I don't want priests to hit court gesture, though. I don't know, it's getting into meme territory. Okay, but I have a slight idea with this. I might have to delete some stuff, but... Chieftain on Lionfish? Nah, maybe. Kind of like the idea of Iona's smile into sack a virgin emissary. Oh, that's interesting also. I like that too. Give cards to your hand and then sack the emissary. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. What is the land requirement with this sort of thing? Two desert? Is two desert necessary? Yeah. I guess that's seven land. Oh no, I don't want... Never mind. I don't want the spirits to hit these things. Okay. Uh... Pretty expensive. Let's try... What if we... What if we ran it with... Voice of Hunger. <clears throat> like, what if? Are there any chonky flyers? <laughs> or ones I don't care to give up? Estanu? <laughs> no, Estanu's bad. <clears throat> Captain? Spirit Spice. Spirit Spice could be a thing. A swordfish? I guess the the point is to draw these as flyers, though, actually. Yeah, okay. Uh, a little bit expensive. Return an emissary. Sacking a sturdy shell would be cool, but... Rebirth, yes. We got some rebirth. And I, I, I think I want to use it. I think that would be cool. It's hacking. <laughs> it could be cool if the emissary gets to find something on board, yeah. I, I might need some mobility for the emissary to move around. Also, yeah, I think Priest is gone. I think Priest is gone. Sorry. I just don't want to have to like drag that out again. <laughs> I'll push it over there. Elderwood Hermit? Ways for spirit to get value. Swarm things. Green yellow. Sack things. How do you take out the card that started this whole thing? <laughs> Cause now that I'm adding spirits, like I don't want this to hit spirit. With these I need sack things, and I don't want these to hit other sack things. Right? I think. Unless... I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but... Uh... Other divine things are kind of cool, like... Solemn. Flag, divine... What if we run Solemn? Is that worth it? Probably want to be building deserts more than anything, anyways.
This is hard. <laughs> uh, gnats. Gnats with spirit. Gnats and spirit are interesting. Kick the tosser, don't go for six lands. Yeah. Chaos was kind of fun, but maybe it's not worth it. Why tosser? It was just for the spirit procs, I guess. You have dragons. <laughs> yeah, we'll get rid of that. Probably get rid of chaos. This is just like a standard green yellow dragon list now, but oh well. I liked Shifting Tide and Tosser, but that's all that was in blue for us, so probably not worth it. Standard. <laughs> Does Monstrosity work? More like sad dirt sounded better in your head. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's do this and voice. I just, I just want to, I just want to do it. Let's do it. And it's still only four lands, so we can delete Chaos. Soul Pact? Yeah, Soul Pact maybe. So now we can voice things. Living Willow? Honestly, Living Willow with buffs is fine. <laughs> Soul Pact Telerosk. <laughs> Husk and anything is good. Okay, Aridin. Oh, we probably want... Okay, let's get rid of Laia and put in... Time? Easy deck building. <laughs> yeah. Husk is too powerful. Anything with it is good. So, Voice of Hunger targets, we've got Living Willow. Verger and Emissary, maybe we just put in one smile. I have no removal. Oh, I have Soul Drain. I guess my removal is these. And the. Oh, I need mobility. Tower? At least I've charged two. But these don't. Tower. I like smile though. <laughs> this might not work either. What do I have for this one? What were my sack targets? I had seek shelters, I guess. Oh, grove colors. Oakling. Right, I guess Oakling was the huge thing here. Huge thing there. But Oakling doesn't really hit anything anymore. Okay, I mean, something like this is probably fine. We do actually have quite a bit of removal with Stalker, Soul Drain. No mobility. Tower. 
Mistral Guide? Maybe Mistral Guide? Actually, I kind of like it. Put in two Mistral Guides instead of Smile. Two voice. <clears throat> the voice looks like a hobby pick. It's a bit odd. Yeah, I guess if we have Mistral Guide, we can trade these things off a lot better. Okay. <laughs> Last sort of thing. Mistral Guide. Plus these things. Uh, now we can add, oh, smile, two smile, maybe, two smile for these six flyers, and then we just need two more cards, so two more removal cards maybe, this could be very control-like, choking sand, Buffs, maybe even. Oh, did I want the towers? We want hand buff things. Tower. Or draw. Ah, uh, soul pact. Okay. Two soul pact. This is not the same list anymore. This is... Don't have any stuff that's not situational, but the Mistral Guide. That's not situational. Not a lot of ways to kill these off, right? Can just try it. Uh, this will probably be. I probably won't like invest too much into this, I guess. Because I think we've thought about everything and nothing's seeming to be working here. But we'll try this particular list. I think I need more mobility, but. Ghost Dragon of the Xmas. <laughs> I could add like. Maybe we don't need Soul Pact. Maybe. Or Dream Fanatic. At the Feria meetup in 2020 in Amsterdam, we should try to make the best deck possible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or put in every OP card, like three Frog Toss or three Husk. Just every card. Uh, I think I don't need Soul Pact. Maybe. Try Fanatic. Plan at least three whole days for it, Faria Con. <laughs> it's pretty difficult, I guess, considering everyone's across the world. Hope 
hopefully COVID things end. It's Hawk Moth. Feria Boot Camp. Amsterdam. <laughs> I'd be cool with traveling someplace that I want to travel. There's a lot of places I want to travel. Hey, Ninth Demon, just go to Moon's house, no problem. <laughs> There's room for the whole family. Some alien technology. <laughs> oh. Wait, I didn't need to build forest. I should have built desert. You have a cool little icon. GlitchCon 2020. Interesting. Double neutrals. Right. Okay. <laughs> Just right down the center. Just... Oh, I can't play this. Damn. Uh, do I ever play this? What's he doing this for? Everyone feeling festive? Yes. We're in the mood. I guess I can't stream too long. I, I really have to work on my guide video. Wanted to come out today. I mean, tomorrow. Steam Forge. Okay. Oh, I should have smiled first, right? <laughs> Another one. GG, I guess. Man, if I had only smiled, I would have had all the answers I wanted. Ate all your Christmas birthday pizza. Oh, sad. He's Jesus. <laughs> yeah. The fourth person this year. Oh my god. Saturn secretly has twins scattered across the world. I guess it's time to leave. Okay, this deck's not working at all. <laughs> I give up. 
Uh, crazy. I'll just go a bit longer, so... Back to... I'm getting rushed. I want to play some more... Some more... Where is it? Teleport. Quit heaven to save Faria. <laughs> Truly a noble cause. Oh, it's Franklin. Hey, PC. Welcome, welcome. When Jesus comes to save our sins. But gets addicted to some card game. <laughs> oh no. Oh. What happened to my hand? <laughs> oh, Saturn. At least he's green also. We have some time. Okay. He's playing your deck, Saturn. Okay. <laughs> Do I just put this down as a collector? I think I might. So we have a lot of stuff in hand. <laughs> Me no likey. <laughs> That's a lot of elementals. Am I the only one to run Wood Ellie in this? Oh, he has Wood Ellie. Yeah. Man, why did I play this? <laughs> That's so awful. Now I have to pre-buff and pray that he doesn't have stuff. Because he just can frog toss her. I think I was supposed to just hold it. Oh, he's got frogify. <clears throat> or he's looking for it. Okay, he doesn't have it. A 7-3. Oh. Big uh-oh. Okay, I can play Moby this turn. I think we want to Moby the Water Alley. And just set up left side. I have to defend against that. So we hit in, play this. We're down to four. So I need to feed. I either have to feed this or feed this. Feed this. Tyrion feed? 
Wait, 6, 12. We don't need to Tyrion feed yet. It's the green deck. Yes. We had a very rough start. But we'll see. Another 7-3? Yeah, all he needs to do is build 7-3s. We do have tree coming. I think I want a Tyrion feed now. I want to get something... Zwardia. But we do want to build these. And I want to build these Zephyrs now, I think. <laughs> I actually think I take this clear. If he hits his Octopus into it, that's fine. Someone told me that this is a card game. Like, this seems absolutely fine. If he takes that clear, I'm fine with dealing with that. Swardia doesn't make much sense. We just... Wait. I'd never play this, right? Six puts me to one, I go up to five. Yeah, never play it. Play it? Ah. Uh. Maybe I should've. Could contest anything that comes. More like Bordia. <laughs> oh no! Why didn't I play the... I still keep calling it Zwardia. <gasps> Wood Ellie. This costs 11 if I want to do that, but I don't think I want that. Man, I should have played this. <laughs> now he just has a water alley to clear my tree. Frog toss are annoying. Yeah, kill the 2-4 with the Moby for sure. Oh, we can get an aggressive forest even. That's a bonus, I guess. I have to play tree. I think. And I don't think I want to play the taunt. Seven. I want four. Two-turn kill with Dwardian and Moby. True. Creation. Command. What? <laughs> oh, he doesn't get to play Moby though. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, yes. Never mind. Wait, what? But. He didn't want a Moby. Oh, he's saving it for this? Yeah, I can't protect my tree with Moby. Yeah, fair enough. That does make sense. Gonna have to draw. Because there's no way of protecting tree here. 
That helps. That helps a lot. That helps very much. So four, I'm on nine. So we don't play anything still, I think. Do this. Maybe I do want to play something. No, I don't. Do I? I don't know. <laughs> I played a children's card game. <laughs> this isn't a children's card game. Still has Moby. I think I want a collector to survive. Not sure. I guess he would have had a difficult time if that got the buff. What? No, that's Welcome cheating. <laughs> Cheat card. Beager Kodama. <laughs> oh, I don't want it to keep hitting Kodama, unfortunately. Okay, maybe that was a mistake. This should be here. Ah, oh, whatever. Maybe I want the Zephyr? Oh no, Dwardia. He has to answer this. He has to answer that or that, or else I can kill it. And then I can get my big thing down, which he probably just has Frogifies for, but... Hey. Yeah, true, we can just land block. I guess we move on to the next. <laughs> Mistakes were made, but I can't deal with that. No more Moby. I think playing the Dwardia a lot earlier was very important. Yeah, I think it was winnable. I would have had a, a ton more board presence. Yeah, tree is a very large investment. I think you need a ton of setup in order to reliably play it. I mean, it's seven costs to do nothing the turn you play it. That's pretty huge.
I guess we drew a bad hand there too, but... Still was very possible. Okay, rematch. <laughs> we know what's coming this time. Tree in hand. These aren't very good against tossers, unfortunately. Like, they're an incredibly strong stat line against everything else. So I still want to build defensive lands here to, um... Oh, now he has the bad hand. Excellent. But I think I'm still building defensive. Am I? No, we want to fight Chaos, actually. Maybe I do need to push aggressive. Okay. Hmm. I miss out on one collection, but... I don't know, he can just tuck his chaos. Fantastic. Alea. Alright, change of plans. We're actually gonna collect. The only thing I'm afraid about here is chaos. <laughs> I have no answer for it. Wait, is on Tosser already? Jesus. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Anything here? Guess I can't do anything really. These give an extra buff, which is cool. Uh, he probably just has Skywell of his own. So many elementals. Oh my god, he's at eight lands already. Why? <laughs> Why? Might feed this. I want to draw. Wait. Kind of wanted to hit something and run away, but maybe that's not worth it. 
four, five, six, seven, uh, eight. Hit this. And he's got nine damage. The rope. <laughs> Guidance Golem. Kind of afraid of Frogify. Which right now he's got nine. I guess he does have Emperor's Command, we saw. Maybe a buff was needed just for that. Uh... So now I can take out his right side, which I think I need to do. He just has to drop chaos, and I lose. <laughs> That's all he needs. Let's put some to seven. I think I always lose this, this, these matches. He's got creation. Like, he can literally create liars. Infinite liars. Not infinite, but... I don't see myself winning this game. Or this matchup in general. No, I'm not going to feed the golem. <laughs> I'm thinking of Guidance. Wait, Guidance. I'm thinking of Embrace. Because I don't want this to be on one life. Unless I double buff. Oh, golem. Wait, what? Value trade on left, golem, and double, and everything looks alright. Fair yet enough. No more teleports.
think we feed this one. Bloom! That's what I've been missing. <laughs> I'm missing the bloom! <laughs> Drop this. And Chosen? I don't know. Chosen wants to go here, probably. So it's in range of this stuff, out of range of Fugu. Ah! <laughs> oh. I was. Bleh. That's dumb. <laughs> we got something. So we teleport trade. Play Kodama. I think it's, you can just keep playing whales. <laughs> like, what? Uh. Goodbye, board. Okay, I'm starting to see why, why whale is so annoying. Does drawing help me? Uh... Not drawing definitely doesn't help you. <laughs> I don't know. I can't really find anything unless I find like another guidance. Did I just ask to draw? <laughs> what? <laughs> Tree between left? I guess it's out of range. Sure. I don't think this does anything, though. Duh! Okay, I'm just going for that because... If he has Frogify, or Creation, he has it, but... If I play a tree without a creature on board, I'm losing anyways. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> if he has no answers, then I've, I've, not that safe. But maybe it's safer. Just have nothing else. Yes. 
Yes! <laughs> this is gonna be fed. Wait, do I want to feed something else? No. I want the 7 8 alive. I definitely have to feed this, yeah. Uh, take the 7 8. Tree. I think I want to play tree. Playing tree here, I don't know. All that does is pop both of these again, I guess. Oh no, this is taunting. Definitely think I'm playing a tree this turn with a plus one. But where it's going, I'm not sure. Out of range of water alley. So it has to go here. Here or here, and this doesn't do anything. Does it? What was better about this spot? Nothing, really. Could just have frog tosser. <laughs> okay. Is he debating just winning by going face? Wait, but a heal seven. You definitely clear the tree. Clear the taunt. So everything has to hit into this. Or I just die. Unless I taunt? Taunt can get frog tossered. Does this have... I, it has summoning sickness when it comes back to me, right? I think so. Oh boy. Both hit in. I'm left with a 5 7. That dies. And I just lose. You want him to trade it. Okay. I think I need to keep this alive. So, Frog Tosser loses me the game if I just taunt it simply. But if I trade both in, I lose anyways. So, he has it, he has it. If he doesn't, you know. Frog Tosser wins in the game. I just have to accept that. Or Sky Will. Or Creation. He has one Creation left. I think he's played only one Tosser, so I don't know. Maybe it's kind of likely, but kind of have to risk it when you're behind. Frog Tosser. That's not a frog the tosser. Is only the beginning. Oh, thank God. We can set up our second tree.
Wait. Oh. Okay, he's running stalkers as well. Fantastic. Bah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got a creature back. Definitely think I just have to get the tree down here. I think it has to be tree. I can draw for a buff. Uh, I should have quite a few buffs left. But then what do I do? This gets frog tossered. I think I just have the tree. Yeah. See what our next draw is. Okay, I guess I surrender now. Eleven, fourteen, so one buff to win. Again, just risk it. He has it, he has it. But I don't think this deck can ever win against this one. This setup's too slow, and his is a lot more greedy. So we'll do one more after this. Oh. Not quite over yet. But it's over. Uh, taunts. You drew? <laughs> Damn frog tosser. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's okay. I'm getting a taste of my own medicine from that one tournament where I brought, like, f four frog tosser decks. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh wow, we've been going three and a half hours. Okay, this will probably be my last one. A paint professional, yes. <laughs> I could never master such skills. I actually like drawing though. I haven't done it in a while, but that's something I like to do. Digital art was something that I would have... It's JJ. Digital art is something that I kind of wanted to dabble into, but never really got to it. Uh, buffs. <laughs> oh no.
Oh, it's red. Good. Got your skills from Scribble, Scribbly. Oh, it's a blue. Well, this deck shouldn't be clunking so hard like this. Like, I have nine starting creatures. Plus, like, even, um, four land cost is fine. Well, GG. <laughs> Uh, there he is. Yeah, I guess this meta, I mean this, like, ladder, I guess I have to be using quick things. Everyone's playing greed. Too bad. We've got two, four... Just drop some Tyrion golems in his face. <laughs> I just need to drop the one. We can drop another. Use two to deal with Magnus, potentially. Oh. Nah. Okay, I should have played the other Tyrion, I guess. Wow! <laughs> Are you... Amazing! I have the worst luck today. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. I think Bloom Sprite can go over here. Maybe I wanted the this guy there, but So he's used his windfall that he got off Magnus, so he just has one more card. I guess the second one from this. That's all the way reduced. Taunt. Yep. At least we have an answer. Unless another one comes down. The sky is only the beginning. Hmm. Can you use the grove collar? To teleport bloom sprite? This is going to come across clear. Uh, this has jump. The grove color goes here. Demon. Oh, we got a sword, yeah. Alright, my luck is back, apparently. So I think I'm just gonna use this and drop another Bloom Sprite? No. Elderwood.
this plus Bloom Sprite. I guess. Kind of want Bloom Sprite on the field. Uncanny. <laughs> oh, wait, what? For some reason, I thought I had enough. Oh, well. I wanted to get that buff. Like, I know I could have gotten a bigger buff. But I wanted to also step on the land. Are you wearing a medallion? That was the mic, yes. <laughs> oh, he got a zero cost water alley. Oh, he got an ogre bow. Ah. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. It's annoying to deal with, but it's fine. So we have to use one buff. Gonna have to ignore the dragon for now, I guess. One buff. Plus taunt. Ulani's medallion. What? <laughs> what? Why? Why is Firebomb there? <laughs> but why? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, this is in range. Sad. <laughs> uh. Leia then. Does he run Bomb Slinger? <laughs> nice. Even got that Christmas spirit going. Plus Ulani's medallion. My savior. Oh, going face. Play another taunt. A gem shell tortoise. Ugh, apparently I can't play today. <laughs> There's a tree. Uh... Oh, we can plus one and block face, I guess. Zwardy has got to take one for the team. Do we- oh wait. Eh. Bloom spread such a solid block. <laughs> yes. Just beat with double gauge Gary. <laughs> right. I mean, he had a Magnus into some stuff, which is unfortunate. So I think I take clear here. Do I ever draw? Teleport's kind of a thing I want, I guess. I kind of want to put the Zephyr protected and then build the tree. Oh, he's gonna hit me for five. 
So plus one puts me to two, then five, six, seven. I don't know if I can afford drawing. All I need is teleport though, okay. If I'm on one, and this survives, I go up to six, and plus one. Okay, so I can't afford drawing, right? Six. Okay. Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh! Look at that! <laughs> Didn't even miss collection. Garadan? Oh my god. So I don't get to play tree now, unfortunately. But. But. Tiki Totem can block face. Play this, plus one. Tiki block. <laughs> yeah. uh, no safe spot for tree though. Yep, definitely no safe spot. Oh my god. Goodbye, cruel world. Sad. I just have to play shows and I guess. Hope he doesn't have ground shaker. Clear the collector. It's gonna hit me for twelve. Nah, I just lose. <laughs> yeah, I need to kill Bargainer, I guess. So if I don't, then I don't have a teleport land. Oh yeah, I should have blocked face. You're right. Wait, what? He misplayed that. <laughs> What? <laughs> I was fine. I mean, he had the lethal. <laughs> Throwing for content. But he had lethal, he just missed it. <laughs> Alright, uh... I guess that will be it for today. I did the same thing last stream. Surrendered and then he threw. <laughs> oh, sad we couldn't get things working. But everyone was playing memory. Well, not entirely memory, but big things that demand answers. Green has no answers to. He roped. Didn't kill me. <laughs> 
Need to play something Saturn's bad in OTK decks. <laughs> well, that's all, folks. Uh, oh, anyone want to stream? See ya, PC. Have a good night. And same to everyone else. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Yes, thank you, demon. Same to everyone else, same to you. Oh, already 2 a.m. in Germany. Nice. The hot. Night to all and to all a good night. Maybe Saturn's secretly Santa. Alright, see you guys. <laughs>